Hello, great free learner. I'm teacher Lydia. I want us to learn hygiene and nutrition. In school, you are learning hygiene and nutrition? Yes. So, we want to continue. We want to learn today using improvised materials to clean utensils. When you say we want to learn about using improvised materials to clean utensils, it means that we want to learn about other things that we can use to clean our utensils. But before we start looking at the improvised materials, we need to understand what are these utensils that we want to clean? What are utensils? Uh huh. Very nice. Utensils are those things that we use when we are cooking and also when we are eating. The things that we use when we are cooking and when we are eating. Can you give me examples? Give me examples of uh, utensils. Uh huh. Examples of utensils. Very nice. Some, of exa some examples of utensils that we have or things that we cook with are things like sufurias. We use the pans. We use the cups. We use the plates. We use the pots. Mm -hmm. Serving dishes. All those things. We use them when we are cooking. There are also other things that we use when we are cooking. But they have a simple, a special name. We have things that are called cutlery. We have things that are called cutlery. So, what are cutlery? What are cutlery? Uh huh. Name them. Give me examples. Uh huh. Very nice. So, cutlery are also those things we have. We also use them in the kitchen. And cutlery are things like forks, knives, and spoons. So forks, knives, and spoons have one name. What is that name? Very nice. That name is cutlery. So if you are asked to give example of cutlery, you, you mention forks, knives, and spoons. Very good. Now, when we are cooking, when, we, when mother is cooking in the kitchen, do those utensils get dirty? Or when she cooks, they become clean? Uh -huh. Yes. When mommy is cooking, or when auntie or daddy is cooking, the utensils become dirty. So, when they become dirty, we say that they get stains. So, what is a stain? What is a stain? So, a stain is a dirt. And normally, a stain is a dirt that is difficult to come out. That is why sometimes you see when mommy is washing utensils or when auntie is uh, washing utensils, she uses a lot of energy to remove those stains so that our, our utensils can remain clean. Okay? Very good. Now, what are some of these uh, stains? What are some stains that get into our, our utensils? Do you eat? Can you give me examples of some stains? Examples of some stains? Uh huh. When mommy is cooking? Uh huh. Uh huh. I want to show you some pictures and then you tell me which stains are these. Now, I want you to tell me which stains are these. I am hiding the name because the name is written there. Can you look at that plate? What was that person eating? What stain is that? Uh huh. I open the name. Hiya. I've opened the name. Read. What stain is that? 
oily stain. Meaning that this, pe this person ate food that had a lot of oil. Huh? Maybe this person was eating something like chips, something like chicken or meat uh -huh, that was cooked with a lot of oil. So this plate is having oily stain. And plates or utensils with oily stains are not easy to wash. We need to wash them very well. We need to have warm water. We need to have soapy water so that the oil can get out easily. Higher. We have this picture B. Look at picture B. What is, which utensil is that first? That is a sufuria or a pan. Very good. Haya, what do you think was cooked inside that sufuria? You can see the way, you can see the way it looks at the bottom. What was cooked? Uh-huh. I think it was ugali. Ugali, okay? So if it is ugali, which stain is that? Which stain is that? Okay, I open for you. Higher, I open it. Higher, read that stain. Starchy stain. Read again. Starchy stain. Starchy stain gets into utensils that we cook with things like ugali or porridge. You know the one that holds down there and it is very difficult to remove. If you go to the kitchen, tell your mother to show you the sufuria she uses to cook ugali. And then you see if it has starchy stain. Haya, this is another stain. I am hiding the name. See, what do you think somebody was, drink, was drinking? Uh-huh. I open the name. Ah, yeah. I have opened. What is the name? Milky Dart. Haya. Have you ever taken yogurt or sour milk in a glass? Now, when you take a uh, yogurt or when you take sour milk in a glass, I want you, you, you to see after you have taken that milk. Huh? the kind of stain that will be left. That, that glass will almost look like this glass. Okay, higher. Let us look at picture D. Look at picture D properly. Uh -huh. I also want you to look at another picture here. Okay, look at also this picture. Higher. I want to open the name so that you can see the name of the of the stain uh-huh i open i uh -huh. read the name of the stain or of the dart that is what juice dart meaning that somebody took some juice so next time when you take juice especially the one that mommy makes at home or smoothie you check and you'll see the way the glass will look like that will be juice stain. Now, our question was what are some stains that can get on utensils? So, can you remember the pictures we looked at? Can you remember the stains? Higher. Name for me some stains or the dirt that you saw. First picture, do you remember? It had which stain? The second picture? The third picture? The fourth picture? Look at that picture. Which stain is that? Outside is color black. What, what, what do you think is the source of fuel that is used? to cook with that sufuria. That sufuria, they use firewood. So that is why that sufuria, on the outer part, it's, it's very black. So what is the name of that stain? Mm -hmm. 
that stain is called soot soot is s o o t soot hiya i want you to now mention for me the first picture it has oily stain we get oily stains from oily foods if food is cooked with a lot of oil then we get oily stains okay higher then our second picture head our second our second picture head starchy stain starchy stain we get starchy stain from things that cook ugali or porridge uh huh then we have milky dart milky dart comes from stains things that we, we we drink with milk when you use when you drink things uh when you drink milk on utensils then that utensils will get milky stain then juice stain will get in the in the utensils that we take uh juice from we also saw that we also have we also have soot stain and soot stain we get it from soot or smoke that comes from firewood now now we also want to look at items that you can buy to clean utensils what are some items that we buy to clean utensils at home most things that we use to clean utensils mommy and daddy buy them they go to the supermarket they go to the kiosks they go to the shops and they buy these items can you remember what is in your kitchen that mom or dad bought so that you can use to clean with the utensils tell me some of the things aha uh -huh. yes we have soap okay some things that mommy buys from the shop so that you can use to clean with our utensils are in these pictures can we identify picture number 1 What is that? Very good. That is a sponge we buy from shops. Uh-huh. What is picture B? Look at picture B. Soap. And that is a bar soap. We have many types of soaps. We have many types of soaps. Another soap that you can have is like this one. Which soap is this? You've seen this kind of soap at home? sunlight we have other many types of soap which ones do you use at home bar soaps that you use at home aha uh -huh. kipande soap whitewash aha uh -huh. super bright very good all those are types of soap some of them are bar soap very good mm -hmm. what else do we have in the picture picture C what is picture C look at that picture properly aha uh -huh. can you see it properly i look at this picture that is it now can you see that picture properly that is the same with for picture C what is that that is a steel wool say steel wool mm -hmm. steel wool is used to wash what very good steel wool is used to wash sufurias so that they can shine aha uh -huh. very good picture d look at picture d what is that in picture d picture d yes that is dish washing liquids dish washing liquid now dish washing liquid is also a soap It's a soap that is put in a bottle. It's soap that is put in a bottle and is used to wash utensils. It's used to wash utensils. Look at this bottle. This bottle
Kyoto is written Coca-Cola. But is that Coca-Cola? No. That is also a dish washing liquid. It is also a dish washing liquid. We also have another dish washing liquid. It can come in many colors. We have color blue, we have color green, we have color yellow. We can have so many colors, even pink. Uh-huh. So those ones, we can buy them from the shops.